Hey golf people, on today's episode, I'm gonna show you how you can upgrade your Garmin S70 golf watch to really make the gameplay experience much more seamless out on course. We are checking out the CT10 sensors. I'm gonna unbox them, show you how that works, and I'm probably gonna kick myself for not having done this sooner. <laughs> All right, let's get to work. All right, today we're gonna to unbox the Garmin Approach CT10 sensors. Using these CT10 sensors with one of the new watches like the Approach S70, the S62, even the S42, you're going to be able to automatically detect the clubs that you are swinging. It's going to track all your shots on course and it's going to be just a much better experience. If you saw my review of the S70, you know that I missed a few more shots than I would have liked to, especially chip shots and putts. That's where the system oftentimes misses shots. It just doesn't detect some of those lighter hits to the golf ball. So this is where the CT10 sensors are gonna come in really, really handy. Opening up this box, here we go. Inside we've got, there you go, 14 sensors that are going to screw into the butt end of each club. Underneath here, we've got a little tool, which is going to make getting those sensors off your clubs, in and out of your clubs, just a little bit easier. You've also got your important safety information, and you've got the manual here, which is a nice little square booklet. So as you can see, we're just going to screw these right in, and then we're going to pair each sensor to each particular club. All right, first club up here, I've got my putter. And uh, by the way, new head covers. Let's play through branded. If you want one of these things, hit me up. We're going to put them in a nice little merch store here real soon. But this is the first edition here for you to take a look at. Really love these things. So we're gonna screw one of these into the butt end of this putter. And then we're just gonna simply work our way through the entire bag. As you can see, every club grip is gonna have that little hole. And in the CT10 sensor, you can see that little threaded screw. Very simple to just attach that in. So you're gonna go through your entire bag just like that. Now, one other thing I wanna mention is this three pack of sensors. So if you don't wanna buy all 14 sensors, they also come in a three pack of these Approach CT10s. This is really great to attach to your putter and to your wedges, because again, those are the shots that often don't get picked up by the watches. Next, we've got the lob wedge. And again, we're just gonna work our way through this bag. Now, in case you're wondering, this does not matter which of these sensors you put on which club. Some devices, it's very specific. You wanna put the nine on your nine iron, but in this case, it's pretty club agnostic. Just as long as you get a sensor on each club, you will be good to go. Now that we've got all these sensors installed into the club, we're gonna go ahead and fire up your smart watch. I'm using, again, the S70 here. What we're gonna go ahead and do is hit play golf. We're gonna skip the GPS because basically what we wanna do is just get to the settings here. These are the courses that are near me. So I'll choose my club, Carraway Country Club, but it really doesn't matter. I'm not gonna keep score here. And uh, I guess we'll choose the tees. But what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and click here. We are going to go into the settings. Then what we're gonna do is find club sensors, and we're gonna hit add new. So we're gonna pair one club at a time, and we're gonna leave the other clubs in our bag. All right, so it's searching for a club sensor. I've got the putter here, so it's detected. It asked to pair it, and now it's asking which club is this? This is my putter. So that sensor is now assigned to the putter. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this for each club in my bag, and then I'm gonna meet you out on the golf course. All right, here we are at hole number one. If you haven't seen how cool this watch is and what makes it so special, that's one of the big reasons right there that plays like distance takes into account slope, wind, as well as weather conditions, and a built-in barometer on the side of this watch. Since we're looking here at the CT10 sensor today, I'm gonna to pull out my driver here. I'm gonna put it in hand. And as you can see, driver got selected on my watch. You can see 245 is kind of what I've been averaging here. On the watch, it's also gonna show you where it thinks you may hit this ball. See that square right there? It's gonna tell you that. You can also see that driver is the play from the virtual caddy down there at the bottom. It says D there down at the bottom. And it really becomes super seamless here with the CT10 sensors. I don't have to choose what club I hit after I hit it. It senses the club in my hand, it senses the shot, and you just keep playing golf naturally and normally. 
Yes, that's perfect. I gotta say, I'm playing some of the best golf of my life here, and it's detected the shot, and I know that because you can see that little green, which means I'm six yards from where I hit that golf shot. Here we go, just a little bunker there, front left to deal with. Now you can see how far I hit that shot as well. I'm at 248, 249 there, it's kind of bouncing a little bit. If you saw the previous video, you know this, but if not, then you know that I've got 114 to the center, but I can actually view the green here and I can change where that pin is. And I think it's a little bit more front. All right, which means I've got 110 shot I've got to hit. You can see down there at the bottom, Virtual Caddy is recommending me a gap wedge, so I'm gonna do that. And I'm writing a divot. <laughs> I'm writing an old divot, but we're gonna play that. Uh, push it just a little left. I think it's gonna catch a piece of the green though. Yes, we've got ourselves a birdie putt. We'll fix that divot. So again, what's really nice is I don't have to tell it which club. I don't get the prompt of which club I hit there. It senses it automatically, and it just makes this a seamless, seamless experience and you know i'm all about seamless especially in this summer heat that's why i've got the uh, automatic cart following me here today all right we're pin high which is perfect i think we got that distance exactly right i'd love to roll in a birdie putt let's put a good roll on it these greens are slow Ooh, broke more than i thought it would and it was a little faster than i thought it was gonna be a little more meat on this putt than i would have liked Okay, <laughs> when you're done with the hole here, you get prompted. It's gonna ask what your score is. You can either go down or up. I had a par there, so we'll keep that four on screen and hit next. It's then gonna ask you how many putts, if it didn't sense it, and then it's gonna automatically detect the fairway there. We did hit the fairway because it auto detected the shot. It knows that now. This is an improvement over the S62 and other Garmin watches. It kind of senses where you're at on the course. Oh, that's perfect. Come on, keep drawing. I always get comments on the channel when I'm reviewing watches that, oh, that would take forever to play around and fiddle with the screen. While I don't think it does, and I think if you have technology that helps you make better decisions, helps you play better, keeps you present, you're gonna lower the scores and that round is gonna be even shorter, if anything. But there's certainly an argument to make here with the S70 paired with the CT10 sensors that it's a completely seamless experience. Here's the ball, right side of the fairway, absolutely perfect. That drive a little better there, 258. So we're getting some distance here as we warm up. I'm gonna go five iron here, just laying up into good position here. Didn't quite catch all of that, but uh, we're up there in wedge territory. So I showed you that plays like distance. That to me is one of the coolest features, but this watch also has other things that we've explored, especially when you get into sleep, stress, heart rate monitoring. This watch is so next level in what it does. But on the golf course, you're gonna get wind direction, you're gonna get a pin pointer, you're going to get green maps. If you have the upgrade installed, so you can literally see how the green break. All right, watch telling me I've got 114. It basically is a middle pin, so that's the distance I'm gonna play. We're gonna go gap wedge again. I got gap wedge in hand, you got the sensor there, and uh, let's hit a good shot. I just love being able to look down and know my distances, it's so cool. That was another good shot. This time we missed it just a little right, but again, pin high, another birdie putt. Oh, one time. Oh, hit the hole. Okay, well, even par ain't half bad. Par three, this pin I'm gonna move because I know it's in the back. It's gonna be back here, and we're looking at one, 162. Now I am just five yards back from the tee box, so it's gonna be really less than that. 157, I'm gonna go eight iron here. All right, I'd love to end this day with a birdie for you. I'm hitting it really well lately. Oh, that looks pretty good if it's the club. And I think it is. That's all over it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That there was a thing of beauty. I gotta say, I'm striking the ball better than I ever have. If you missed the video on the hack motion, such a cool tool. I'm gonna leave a link to that video as well. Highly recommend you checking it out. It's helping me with my ball striking here today. And uh, yeah, I'm just loving what this watch can do. We've got four or five feet here, guys. That is a birdie. All right, now that we're done with our round, we're gonna bounce into the Garmin app here. And there's some cool things you can do to analyze your round, take a look at some of the statistics, 
and that sort of thing. So you've got there fairways hit, three of three, greens in regulation, four out of four, and putt seven. I did play one more hole that I didn't put on camera there before I walked off because it was so ridiculously hot. <laughs> now, if we wanna actually look at what happened on each hole, you can bounce into here. You've got a map. You can see I hit my 245 yard drive, and then I hit a 107 yard gap wedge with two putts. Over here on the second hole, you can see I did not hit a 415 yard drive. So if this ever happens and you miss a shot, you can simply go in and tap the map for the desired shot location. So I was right around here somewhere and I was in the fairway and let's see, let's see what that was. 261, yeah, it was just a little bit further back actually. We can tell it that we hit driver and hit done. All right, that's pretty close. As you can see, it says 261, although I did hit it 258 is what we saw out there on course. And I did have that 110 yard gap wedge shot in. Actually, I didn't hit driver there. What am I thinking? I hit five iron. So as you can see, very simple to go in and make all those changes there. And now we're done. And you can see, yeah, I didn't hit that five iron too good. I only hit it 150 yards basically. Back on that third hole, you can see it was 156 yards. I had a one putt, it was right by the pin there. So that's really cool. You're not gonna get super deep stats like some of the other systems out there, ShotScope, Arcos come to mind, but you're definitely gonna get the basics there on your performance. I'd eventually like to see them add strokes gained, but as I always say here on the show, there's no such thing as the perfect piece of golf technology, but this S70 is really darn close. Guys, highly recommend you upgrade to these CT10 sensors if you own an S70 or really any Garmin golf watch. This is the perfect complement. Really speeds up your play, keeps you thinking about golf and less about the technology. I really don't have anything bad to say other than maybe these sensors are just a little thicker. They hang off the club a little bit further than most, but really it doesn't add any weight, really shouldn't get in your way. Just a cool, cool device. If you enjoyed this one and you haven't checked out that S70 video, I'm gonna again leave it right here for you. Make sure to hit subscribe and I'll catch you back real soon on another edition of Let's Play Through.